So the Brazilian Agency of International Tourism Promotion. Jesus. They so they fucked up <laughs> and they actually shared this image here on their story. And I will read it to you. Looks like a so, script. What is that? This was posted by someone else. And it says, Rio is such a beautiful city, but beautiful is not enough. I just spent three days in Rio with my family. And in those three days, my family and I were robbed. And my nine-year-old sister witnessed a violent robbery. I can't recommend a visit to a city where I felt afraid of even leaving the apartment. Hopefully, things will get better in the future and locals and tourists will be able to enjoy the beauty Rio has to offer. And they, they location tagged it Rio de Janeiro. Can we blame the victim? Why? What if they're wearing LV print everything and they had like an LV luggage? So of course they're gonna get robbed. Yeah, you're wearing Balenciaga hats and shit. Yeah. That, that's so true, mm -hmm. Bart. Because in 120,500 muggings last year alone, every single one of them was wearing designer brands. Really? Every single one. I don't know. You're right. You know what I'm saying. We should blame all these victims. I don't want to blame all the victims, but then some victims, I'm like, you know better. You shouldn't have. Yeah. Been one of my that. favorite uh, genres of YouTube is shootout videos. <laughs> and um, oh, that was the genre. Dude, I just love Steve's face right after you said that. He's like, "Fuck, we're in that well, video I know. again." I always, you know, it's always a dot 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 in my head. I'm like, I can't wait for what he's about. I've never seen that genre. I've seen like sports and entertainment. Boys. <laughs> I've never seen shootouts. The beauty of this man is that you don't know where the joke is going and it's not a joke ever. It never is a joke. He looks at us like, why the fuck are you smiling? Let me finish my story, goddammit. Or he's like, what I said, that was funny? It's yes, true. exactly. But to us, it's a joke. To him, it's the truth. So, <laughs> speaking of one of my passionate um, Your genres, favorite genres, genres yeah. of shootout videos, a lot of them come from Rio de Janeiro. A lot of them come from Brazil. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you can see people, they'll come up to you on scooters and hold you up at gunpoint. I saw one where it was like, a guy is riding a scooter and another guy comes up, holds him up at gunpoint. There's a policeman in a taxi cab that gets out and he shoots the guy that has, the, the robber that has another guy on gunpoint. Oh wow. shit. Yeah, what is he doing like in that. the taxi? I saw one where a chick is leaving Perfect. a store She's a she's about to get abducted, and then she pulls a fucking gun out and blows nice. the guy away. I've seen that one too. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah. Uh, I used to work at CarMax. I remember I had this chick come in. She was getting a car looked at. I think she was trying to appraise it so she could sell it. She had been in the states for a couple months, and she was like, she was desperately looking for a husband because she did not want to go back to Brazil. Oh. Because like kidnapping, you think kidnapping is like just reserved for kids. But like adults get kidnapped a lot in Brazil, especially if- Sexual slavery. Yeah. If they, well, all, that too, but if they, if the robbers think that they come from a wealthy family or that ransom. they're money, they will hold the grownups for ransom and more than likely still kill them. Damn. Damn. It is fucking ridiculous. The stories that she was telling me had me like, because you think in Brazil, you'd be like, oh, big booty women, what's popping? Hot smiles on earth. Have you ever seen City of God? No, I haven't seen it. It's that crazy. movie made me never want to go to Brazil. There's seven year old yeah. thugs. With Can you imagine a seven year old yeah. thug? With the AK. With a gun? So with a gun, it changes this. But a regular seven year old, I will punch the fuck out of a seven year old. <laughs> like, it's not even like, I'm talking about like, hold the back of a head, like, what did you say? Like, but with a gun, it's like, hey, I'm sorry, sir. Like, I'd rather get robbed by a 50 year old than an eight year old, because an eight year old will kill me. Yeah, yeah. they have no conscience. Yeah, there's no fucking conscience. no. no reason. They don't, yeah, they don't you see, can't reason with them. They, they don't really think that they're gonna live forever. <laughs> like, look. Anyone under like 16, I am fucking scared. If they're like, hey, though, I feel like I might be able to mesmerize them. Like, I know a couple coin tricks. Like, <laughs> Pull the quarter out of the ear. Oh, is this what you want, pal? Ah, you want more? Hey, bitch, <laughs> look at my thumb. Whoa. They'll be like, oh, shit, this guy's crazy. Look at this he's shit. Like, me. <laughs> I got one finger. Shoot him in the leg and run. <laughs> Damn. You're set, man. I kind of been thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? Just fucking pull a quarter out of their ear. Oh, boo, you see that shit? Dude, that's what's so funny about our movies and shit. We see a little kid gangster in a movie and we're like, ha ha ha. But over there, they're probably just like, what's funny? What's the bit? Oh, I know him. That's my cousin. Yeah. They're saying that there were 4,000 murders last year, too. In and, Rio? Yeah, in Rio. But they're saying that this, that the homicide rate is the lowest since records began in 1991. Jesus. So that's what they're. So then the they weren't keeping records in the nineties. Like just 
Like 90 came, they was like, yo, it's been a lot of motherfuckers died. Maybe That's we should start recording this. Yeah. Damn. That's crazy. But yeah, so there was- 89, they're like, hey, look, we should record all these murders and shit. I'm like, ah, come on. It's not that many. What are you talking about? <laughs> Doubled in the Double 1990, it's like, all right, you know yeah, what, let's- The next year, they're all sitting there at the meeting, and, and then they're like, all right. You might have been on to something, Ralph. Yeah, yeah. What? It wasn't a great year. It wasn't a great year. You were right. But yeah, so they're assuming here that the, the mistake happened because whoever was in charge of the tourism board, social and like social media, they probably didn't understand English that well. So they thought because the word beautiful oh, is in it, that's funny. And like it starts off with Rio, such a beautiful city, you know. So but they that probably ain't thought, yeah. What's wrong with using the word beautiful? No, no, no. So this is. <laughs> This is this is the act of listening, Bart. You're not listening. I, I was listening. You are not. Okay, I was. I was. He was counting his fucking macros. No, I was. I don't even you know what that is. That's so funny. Board. He is the tourism board. He's like, what's wrong with beautiful? This is awesome. And he he is the tourism it. board right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Shit, I didn't read the rest board. of the shit. Try to promote more people to come to their country, yeah, right? Yeah. So what she's saying is, uh, they saw someone tweet something out, or not tweet, but Instagram or whatever, or something out about uh, Rio, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Um, but the person that's in charge of the tourism board social media thing account, uh, I guess they don't know English that well. So all they, I guess, understood was that Rio de Janeiro is beautiful without really seeing what that the whole, whole story is bad. Oh. The advertisement worked on them and it worked on Bart. It Bart, is. Bart reads that ad and he's like, <laughs> it's beautiful. We should go to fucking Rio. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah. I want to go and watch the crime. Oh, fuck. In a safety bubble, perhaps. <laughs> yes. Yeah, how do you with police escort. Yeah, I picture me escort. on the back of a pickup truck with a machine gun uh -huh. and with like the real police. But you're causing the, the the trouble. You're like, hey, you better commit a crime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to watch this. I paid good money to be here. I don't know if you thought it through, but I, but I, I do I do get where you're going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like a safari adventure. Oh no. <laughs> but urban. Oh, urban no. safari adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But then I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe I didn't think it through because then if they see the police there, they're not gonna do the crime. And also, you're probably picturing adults. Like a lot of this might be kids and shit, and you're gonna be like, oh, I don't want to see this. If it's a kid, still kind of want to see it. I'll, I'll grab the gun away from him and slap him. Have you ever tried to grab a loaded gun from somebody? No, but if have if, you? If they're if they're a kid and they're not looking my way. I'm more likely to kick the shit out of them. Okay. Because I feel like I'll, I'll I'll be able to kick them, and they'll fly, and I can grab the gun. Uh, Who do you think man? you are? Huh? Who do you think Jason you are? Jason Bourne, evidently. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. But it, have, you, have you come on? Have you a seven-year-old? I'll kick the fuck out of that fool. You think so? I'll kick that fool like Leonidas did the Persians. <laughs> I'll fucking this is Sparta, bitch. Oh, this is Sparta. From the back. Three hundred. From the back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You'll do what? Uh, Make his shoulders he clap. Back his back. Yeah. <laughs> From the back, of course. He's not pointing the gun at me. You're trying to tiptoe up to him. Yeah. <laughs> you just. He's still afraid. Ah. I know. As soon as he turns around. Ah! <laughs> no, what you do is you. I got you, some candy. I got some candy. Uh, yeah. You fucking punt a kid, and you're like, now that's real football. <laughs> wow. That's bullshit. It's football. Yeah, that's the bullshit. It's that's fucking. Uh, so you wrestled the gun out of someone? No. Gun out of, away from someone? No. It was just a, a thought, right? Yeah, it's just a thought. Did you have any close calls working at the jail system? With guns? No, 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 no close calls with jail. Was it scary? There was one time where somebody, I so like, one time I was I was teaching in one of the barracks and they had to sign out to go use the restroom because you have to have an account anytime uh, inmate is not where they're supposed to be. So, um, I also had a TA, and the TA, is a, they're inmates too, but they we call them white shirts because they wear all white just so we be easily identified from for the teachers and for the, the sheriffs. So they're like so, good behavior? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that so wanna the TA help. TA had a clock yeah. on his desk um, that, that went on the wall because he was keeping track of, of time and just keeping us on task, but there was another random clock in the room. So uh, the TA got up to pass all papers, and when the guy came up to use the restroom, he saw the clock, he took the battery out of the clock. Right, so the TA sat back down. He didn't really pay any attention to it, and then he realized, I guess, that the clock wasn't counting anymore. And that's when he had to let me know that the battery is missing. So I asked everybody in the room. Nobody, nobody knew anything. I had to go get the sheriff, and they basically locked down the whole facility. Did he keister the batteries? Battery. Well, what it is is they take the batteries and they use them in the homemade tattoo guns that they make. And so tattooing is illegal and all of that type of stuff. So Just get a rechargeable. 
thing instead of batteries. Yeah, they could just get a rechargeable thing. Why don't they just go on Amazon and get it? Yeah, why don't they just get a solar panel, Tiff? Yeah. Just plug it in. Get a solar panel. Yeah. So wait, what happened? They had to lock the whole thing they down? They locked the yeah. whole thing oh. down, went to the, uh, all the, the, all the um, inmates that were in my class, went to all of their barracks, tossed everything, Damn. flipped everything, and the dude who admitted to having it, they threw him in uh, the hole for like a week. Now back to Joe's question. Solitary did he get confinement for a week? Oh, yes, another question. Yes. <laughs> The question was, did you get into a fight, or did you have to get That wasn't your question. You said Where if he keistered it. Where well, was That was the, the other battery? question. He had took it back. When he went to the bathroom, he took it back to his dorm. Went uh, to his bag. That's not that sexy, but no. it's not. Yeah. I thought he no, stuck no, it in no, his no. asshole. There, the, the, there were multiple facilities at this jail. They had, like, mm. they had like um, one, one was, like, they stayed in barracks, and it was kind of like an army-looking barrack type thing. And then that, there was like another facility, which I call the belly of the beast. And that was like north. That's a big facility, and they have like different levels to it. And then there was this other place I liked. To, this facility was called South, and I called that where dreams go to die. Because like it was always colder there. I felt like this the air was heavier, and it was just, it was different. Where's I did not like Walker. The hole was in North, mm -hmm. so North is the big facility. North was the one, it had been on like locked up and they use it for NCIS yeah. and CIS. They, they use that facility, a lot of filming goes on out there. What do there. you think of the hole as a method for punishing inmates? You think it's humane? Um, I think it's very difficult to like straddle the line and always be humane and in good standing when it comes to disciplining of like rapists and convicted criminals and stuff like I don't think that the recidivism is the rate at which people return to jail. Uh, the recidivism rate is like 70 something. Oh, Damn. Yeah. They so, love jail, huh? Well, I mean the food is three meals a day. Uh, but it's very I, difficult to also to like reprogram somebody once they're in their 30s, right? Especially when they're getting released and they don't have everything they need, all the necessary tools to be successful. And also, if you're not gonna release them and it, you put them in like a halfway house that is completely away from the environment that they were picked up in, they are more than likely to just sure. go back to the crimes that they were doing because they're still in that same environment. So unless you're moving them to a different area and giving them the necessary tools to be an active member of society, a functioning member of society, an upstanding member of society, they are more than likely gonna end back in jail. One guy got released at eight in the morning, was back in jail, by 7 p.m. that night. What? They didn't even get a chance to give somebody else his bed. My coworker said he made more money in jail than out. The only reason why he wants to stay out now is because he has a daughter. Yeah. I know some guys that have been in jail for so long when their release date was coming up, they wanted to come back because they hadn't. That's, that's all what they're they used to. Yeah, yeah, 30 years in jail is like the world has completely wow. changed in 30 yeah. years. So That's like a time warp. They, get, they, they don't want pussy, I guess. They want a man's butt. That's 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 the way I simplify it. <laughs> <laughs>